दिस इज नोमेरिकल नंबर एड फ्रॉम द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर फिजिक्स द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द नोमेरिकल इज अ प्रोजेक्टाइल इज थ्रोन विद द स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड मीटर पर सेकेंड एट थर्टी डिग्रीज विद द हारिजेंटल फाइन टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट मैक्सिमम हाइट इट रेस्ट एंड द रेंज ट्रेवल्ड Before solving this numerical we will revise what is projectile motion what is time of flight what is maximum height for a projectile and what is the range traveled by a projectile this short animation show the motion of a projectile a projectile motion is a two dimensional motion under the influence of constant gravitational acceleration This is the path followed by a projectile and this object is traveling in two dimension one is along the y axis while second its motion is along the x axis or along the horizontal axis uh, so the velocity of a projectile have two components one is x component of the motion and the second one is y component of the velocity and these two components the x component and the y component of the projectile is independent from each other so the horizontal motion of a projectile is independent of its vertical motion second the horizontal component of velocity remain constant throughout the flight because there is no acceleration along the horizontal axis while a constant gravitational acceleration minus g act on the y component of the projectile and this gravitational acceleration minus g is along the y axis only along the y axis and have no effect on the horizontal motion of the object now what is uh, the maximum height of the projectile the maximum height of the projectile is the height which a projectile reach now this from this uh, this is the path followed by the projectile and this is the maximum height of the projectile uh, for calculating the maximum height of a projectile we will use a uh, third equation of motion the third equation of motion we know is 2as is equal to vf square minus vi square uh, here i am using this y sign because we are dealing only with the y component of the velocity so the vertical velocity at its maximum height for a projectile is zero when the projectile reach to this maximum height then its velocity along the vertical axis is equal to 0 so the final velocity in the vertical direction at this peak point is equal to 0 or uh, we will substitute this value in this equation uh, for determining the maximum height of a projectile uh, this s is displacement this a is acceleration vf is the final velocity along the y component Uh, along the y direction and vi is the initial velocity along the y direction now the vfy which is the final velocity in the vertical direction is equal to 0 by substituting this value in this equation we will have uh, and solving for displacement s we will have s is equal to minus vi whole square divided by 2a now this acceleration we take the gravitational acceleration a is equal to minus g in projectile motions uh, so substituting the acceleration a is equal to minus g and the y component we know is uh, vi sin theta so we will have now this displacement s is denoted by height Uh, h is equal to minus vi sin theta vi sin theta is actually the vertical component of this velocity um, and divided by minus 2g uh, this minus sign is because we take the gravitational acceleration negative uh, when we are dealing with a projectile motion so this minus sign will cancel with this minus sign and we will have the maximum height of the projectile h is equal to vi square sin square theta divided by 2g using this equation we will determine 
uh, the maximum height of the projectile now uh, what is the time of flight the time of flight is the time total time taken by the projectile to reach from this point to this final point uh, so according to the second equation of motion we know that uh, s is equal to vit plus 1 over 280 square using this equation we will determine the total time of flight the total time a projectile will take to reach this uh, final position now for determining the total time of the flight we will deal with the uh, vertical velocity only again here we are dealing with the vertical component of the velocity uh, here you can see that this is the path followed by the projectile and the total displacement covered in the vertical direction is zero because here you can see that this initial at initial point the vertical component is zero and at this final point uh, the vertical component again is zero and the total displacement in the vertical direction is equal to zero because the projectile returned to its initial position in the vertical direction so we will have the displacement s is equal to zero we will substitute this value uh, s is equal to zero in the above equation and solve for time t the vertical component of the projectile velocity is vi y is equal to vi sine theta this is the vertical component of the projectile velocity again the acceleration is uh, a is equal to minus g substituting these values in this equation we will have 0 is equal to vi sine theta t minus 1 over 2 g t square now we have substitute s substituted s is equal to 0 uh, vi is equal to vi sine theta uh, and t t is time minus 1 over 2 uh, this minus sign is because this acceleration is equal to minus g uh, so we will have minus 1 over 2 gt square now shifting this uh, this term to the other side of the equation to this side we will have 1 over 2 gt square is equal to vi sine theta into t dividing both the sides of this equation by t this t square will become t and this t will cancel with that t so we will have 1 over 2 g is equal to vi sine theta and solving for this t we will have t is equal to 2 vi sine theta divided by g so this is the total time of flight the total time a projectile will take to reach this fi final position now the time taken by the projectile to reach this maximum height will be half of this total time so we will have t dash is equal to t by 2 which is equal to vi sine theta divided by g this is the time taken by the projectile to reach the highest point to reach this maximum point uh, and the total time of the flight the time taken by the projectile to reach from this point to this final point will be equal to 2 vi sine theta divided by g using this equation we will determine the time of the flight now we will determine the range of the projectile the maximum distance of projectile cover along the horizontal axis this time this is the range of the projectile uh, the range of the projectile is defined as the distance which a projectile covers in the horizontal direction and according to the definition of velocity we will now determine the range of a projectile or the total distance a projectile will cover uh, the definition of velocity is v is equal to s divided by t v is velocity s is displacement and t is the time so we have v is equal to s divided by t now here we will deal only with the horizontal component and not with the vertical component this time because we are dealing with the range and range is along the horizontal axis so we have uh, vi is equal to cos theta which is the horizontal component of the velocity uh, we will have vi cos theta is equal to s divided by t and solving for s the distance 
द प्रोजेक्ट आयल विल कवर अलॉन्ग द हारिजेंटल एक्सिस वी विल हैव एस इज इक्वल टू टी टाइम्स वी आई कॉस थीटा नाउ दिस टी इज टाइम एंड दिस वी आई कॉस थीटा इज द हारिजेंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट टाइल वेलासिटी एंड द टाइम विच वी हैव डिराइव द टोटल टाइम ऑफ द फ्लाइट वी नो इज इक्वल टू टू वी आई साइन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई जी नाउ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन वी विल हैव एस इज इक्वल टू टू वी आई साइन थीटा वी आई कास थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई जी दिस वी आई विल मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस वी आई एंड वी विल हैव टू वी आई स्क्वेयर साइन थीटा कास थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई जी नाउ नाउ रियर एंजिंग दिस टर्म वी विल हैव वी आई स्क्वेयर इन टू टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई जी नाउ दिस टर्म टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू साइन टू थीटा दिस इज अ ट्राइग्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन वी हैव रेंज ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट आइल आर इज इक्वल टू वी आई स्क्वेयर साइन टू थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई जी यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन वी विल डिटरमाइन द रेंज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट आइल Now here we have the initial velocity of the projectile. A projectile is thrown with a speed of 100 meter per second. So the initial velocity we have v i is equal to 100 meter per second. Or uh, the angle or the direction of the projectile, the theta it is making with the horizontal component is given as 30 degree. Uh, we will determine the time of flight. maximum height it raised and the range it will travel uh, so we have of uh, we know that the total time of flight is t is equal to 2 vi sin theta divided by g substituting the value for theta vi and g and solving we will have a uh, total time taken by the projectile is equal to 10.2 seconds so the total time of the flight will be 10.2 seconds now for calculating the maximum height of a projectile uh, we will use the equation h is equal to vi square sin square theta divided by 2g uh, and substituting the values for vi vi is equal to 100 meter per second theta is equal to 30 degree uh, and g is equal to Um, nine point eight. Substituting these values, we will have hundred square point five is a uh, sine thirty is equal to point five divided by two multiplied by nine point eight, which is equal to one twenty seven point five five meter. So this is the maximum height of the projectile. Now we will calculate the range traveled by the projectile. The range we know r is equal to v square sine two theta divided by g. Substituting the values for initial velocity theta and g and solving, we will get the value for the range and range of the projectile. We will have eighty eight hundred eighty three point six nine meter. So this is the Uh, range traveled by the projectile. That's it. We have calculated time of flight, maximum height, and range traveled. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe Easy Edu for more videos. Thank you.